everyone, welcome back to Astroways Face Reading. Last episode, we have our mouth and the size of our mouth. The bigger your mouth is, the more ambitious you are. The thicker your mouth is, the more emotion you have, depending on if your upper lip is thicker or lower lip is thicker. Upper lip represents emotion and lower lip is more sexual. And we say face reading is more about proportion, not too big, not too small, but we haven't actually mentioned about the shape. Today, we're going to talk more about the different shapes of the mouth. And before that, let's talk about the colors first. Our lip colors is mainly reflecting our blood status. The perfect color is slightly red, means you have a good blood flow and you're energetic and outgoing person. If guys have red lips and white teeth, they tend to marry a beautiful wife as well. If your lips color is pale, means your blood flow is not very good, not very efficient, and you may be a bit sensitive and overthinking, have doubts in relationships and not easy to trust people. And if your lips are dark color, you tend to have higher blood pressure, you tend to be more aggressive, a bit short tempered and also a very busy person as well. You need to calm down more, sleep more and eat healthy. That's the color of the lips. So what's the best type of lips? What's the best shape? The answer is very simple. Look at Buddha's mouth. That's the best shape, which is square and angular, very clear lines on top and bottom. Two lips are perfectly closed. This is the best lips. No matter how thick or thin or big or small your lips is, it's very important to have a clear lip line, a strong and angular structure, like an M shape on the upper lip and a square shape on the bottom. This type of lip shape really benefits you in the art of communication. Whatever you say, people listen to you, people look up to you. If your lip line is very blurry, you can barely see the clear line, not to mention the clear shape. This type of people tend to value career more than anything else in their life. They don't have much time to spend with families. More than 50% of guys in the world have this type of blurry lips because guys tend to focus more on career. They're more career driven than girls. So mentioning about the M shape, some people have a little bit of M shape and some people have super M shape. A little bit of M shape means you're good at explaining and expressing yourself. Super M shape means you're overly good at expressing yourself. Then it turns into being argumentative, especially those people who have this middle tip. The bigger your tip is, the more argumentative you are. If you see people with a massive tip, don't argue with them. You can't win. It's either you lose or they talk you to death. Now, if you look at both edges of the mouth, it's always better if you have the edges going up. Even when you're not smiling, that means you're a positive person with a lot of positive energy. You have a lot of friends because everyone loves you. And if the edges of your mouth are going down, in Chinese we have a name for it, it's called upside down boat mouth. It's like a boat upside down. This type of people, they tend to work really hard, very stubborn, they complain a lot, they have negative thoughts and they don't usually have a lot of friends because they can be very judgmental. However, because they are stubborn, once they decide to do something, there's no way back. And that sometimes can lead to success. It's just even if they're very successful, they tend to be quite lonely and heartless. But you see, this mouth is very closed off, like it's completely locked up. People with mouth closed off, they can keep their mouth shut. They know what to say and what not to say. They can keep secrets. They don't talk behind others' back. While some people always have their mouth open in a normal status, like walking on the street or watching TV or looking at something like by default, the mouth is open. 
These people can't keep secrets, can't keep their mouth shut. They talk about everything. If you have friends with this mouth, don't tell them anything. Otherwise, the next day, your whole friendship group, everyone knows about your little secrets. And what happens if your mouth is crooked? Not like you're doing it on purpose, like it's naturally crooked to one side. Like people with this type of mouth tend to be quite stubborn. They don't mean what they say, and they don't say what they mean. They tend to lie a lot. They tend to hide their real feelings, and it's hard for them to listen to others as well. And what happens if your mouth is like this? Especially if it's always open like this and naturally going out. This type of mouth in face reading we call it blowing fire mouth, like as if you're blowing out a candle or something. This type of people are very good at exaggerating the fact. You can only believe in half of the stuff they say, and they love gossip. If you're having small argument with your boyfriend and girlfriend, and you tell them the next day, everyone knows that you're breaking up. So watch out for this type of mouth. They love drama, and they love leveling up the drama, and they don't put the boundary on the things they say. It may hurt people sometimes, and it may lead to a divorce as well. But what happens if only the upper lip is popping out? Not the bottom part, like only the upper lip is massive and like this. In face reading, we call it the koi mouth. Have you fed koi fish before? They got massive upper lip, and what happened to koi? They talk a lot. They always like this, talking, 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 talking nonsense. You don't know what they're talking about, even though they're not making any sense. Even though they can't express themselves very well, but they just can't stop talking. So that's coy mouth. And what if it's the opposite? The lower lip overlapping the upper lip. In face reading, we call it the shoehorn mouth. It's like the shape of a shoehorn. This type of people tend to be quite selfish, and they're not very generous. Also, our upper lip represents father, and lower lip represents mother. If your upper lip is overlapping your lower lip, and your lower lip is very small and chin goes back, that means your mom would tend to have health problems and die younger than your dad. And if your lower lip is overlapping the upper lip, and your upper lip is small and shrink back. That means your dad would tend to have more health problems and die younger than your mom. Nothing to do with your teeth, more like the structure of the mouth bone. We'll talk about teeth separately in another episode. And what happens if your mouth doesn't have clear shape? It's like a circle with no clear angles. That means you're not very good at communication. You struggle to express yourself sometimes. Last one is what happens if your skin around the mouth is very wrinkly. Everyone has wrinkles when they get old, but I'm talking about the people who have this type of wrinkles when they're young. In face reading, we call it the shrinkable pocket mouth, like those pockets you can you can pull and close it. People with this type of mouth, young people, I mean, they tend to have. A busy and stressful life in a young age is hard for them to relax and enjoy life most of the time. So that's all for mouth shapes. Mouth is all about art of communication. Having a square and angular mouth can benefit you in expressing yourself and get along with people around you. Okay, guys, that's all for today. If you want to have your personal face reading with me, you can email me at astroways.info@gmail.com or find me on Facebook at Astroways. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to know more about metaphysics, please subscribe my channel, and I'll keep you updated.